Hey guys, it's time for Lens Flare! Okay, it's Thursday, and it's time for me to answer all the questions your textbooks don't. So this week I want to talk about something that students find really annoying and usually don't understand, but it's actually pretty cool. I am of course talking about the ending E. When you say ending E, what are you talking about? Well, what I mean by ending E is the E at the end of a word that we don't pronounce, like love, stove, gave, hide. In all of those words, we don't pronounce the E. It's silent. Well, I'm going to talk about the purpose of the silent E and why we have it. So to begin, I need to talk about vowels. If you're not sure, vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. These vowel sounds make up a really important part of words. So when native speakers are children and we're learning English, we learn that vowels have two sounds, a short sound and a long sound. The long sounds for each of the vowels are actually their names, A, E, I, O, and U. The short sounds are different, A, E, I, A, U. So when we're children, we learn that vowels have two different sounds. So how did we learn which one to use? That's actually the job of silent E. If you see a word like this, how would you pronounce it? A child would probably pronounce it hong. They would use the short sound for the vowel. However, if you add an E onto it, we would pronounce it home. So that ending E changes the vowel short sound to the long sound. Let's use another example. Take a look at this word. How would you pronounce that? Most children would probably pronounce it mem. However, if you put a silent e on the end, the vowel changes from the short sound, e, to the long sound, e. It becomes meme. What's this meme thing you mentioned? Well, I'm glad you asked. A meme is something from the internet, usually an image or picture with text. It's supposed to be funny. Which brings me to my next example of the silent E's purpose. The letter G is usually considered to have two pronunciations in English. G and J. How do we know which one to use? We use that ending E. So if you look at this word, you can probably guess how to pronounce it. Dog. Dog. G. It uses that harder G sound. What we call a hard G. But if I add an E to it, two things happen. The A becomes longer to O sound. The G becomes softer to J. So we would pronounce this word doge. What the heck is a doge? Doge is an image of a dog with several sentences written around it with terrible, terrible grammar. Personally, I hate this meme, but bad grammar makes me angry for no reason. Hey, hey, hey stop it, stop it. Whew. Okay. So there, there are other functions for that ending E, but these are two really common ones. The ending E can extend the vowel sound to be longer or change to its name form. It can also cause the letter G, or C actually, to become the different form. G or J, S or K. If you have any questions about ending E or about memes, please put them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Hey, hey, no, 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 stupid. Ah!